having a couple of slow days in Poshmark, so I sent out 35% off offers of things I've had for 90 days or more. So 11 sales on Poshmark, three on Mercari, and one on Depop. Let's get to shipping. This was my best sale in the last 24 hours. It's a men's Grayson sweater. I thought it was women's at first. It's a purple cashmere sweater. It sold for $65 on Poshmark. Okay, it's about 8.15, I am done with my shipping, so I am going to go prepare my items that I need to photograph. Wow, it's really dark. Gonna get my items I need to photograph the day. 21 listings, I got some shoes, I got some clothing, and then I will go up and get working on that. Okay, so then usually I come into my bedroom and I am gonna go ahead and list all of my drafts. I don't have a standing desk yet and I use my walking pad. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I just walk while I work on my drafts. That way I can get in some steps and get my work done. So kind of a multitask thing here. So let's go ahead and get done my drafts. Okay, so I got done with all of my drafts. I pushed them out on eBay and did my cross listing. So on the day, it just depends if I do my cross listing right away um, on what time I want to be at the thrift stores, how quickly I got stuff done. Usually I try to get out of the house by 10.30. So kind of just depends on the day. Otherwise I do have time later on at night. I have a little bit of downtime that I can finish up cross listing or extra drafts or anything like that. So I'm gonna grab some snacks and then we're gonna head out to the thrift store. Okay, hopefully today we can find some good stuff at thrift stores. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so down below. And let's go. We're here, my camera battery is on one bar, so we'll see how long it lasts. Otherwise I can switch to my phone. This store can be super packed for some reason. I find good stuff here sometimes, but it's definitely not my favorite. So let's go see what we can find today. Okay, so I usually go to the shoe section first. As you can see, this section is pretty bare, a lot of empty spots, which kind of sucks. That means they're not stocking it very well, or it's picked over. These were some Reebok CrossFit shoes, I think. <laughs> I don't remember. I remember looking up a pair and they weren't good. So that might've been them, but sandals are selling really good for me right now. Still sneakers, so boots I'm only gonna be picking up if they are like a really good brand and I'm willing to wait because most likely boots are not gonna be selling right now. Pretty busy so I keep having to turn off my camera but looking at the sneakers here I don't think I found any good shoes at this location so sometimes that's just how it goes.
I went over to the men's shoes and I found these Bionics, which I didn't even know they made men's. This was the Dominic style, only $5.99. So I'm gonna go ahead and look these up on eBay and see if they're worth picking up. So I'm just typing in Bionic blue Dominic shoes and then I didn't really see any available. I didn't scroll through too much. 25 available and then I clicked sold. Only one pair sold for like $19, so definitely a no. Okay, so I'm just really cool vintage, like Penny Lane style coat. It's by the brand Relativity. Um, it is $15, but I've sold these before for around $100, so I think it'll be worth it. Okay, editing Heather, I went ahead and looked up comps when I got home. This exact coat has sold for almost $300 in like, I think like $275 and $190 which is nuts. It said it's made with Mongolian fur, whatever that means, but super excited. So that was an amazing find. Okay, so I'm going through the pants section here and leggings. This particular store does mark up Lululemon. They didn't used to, but they started doing it recently and I do end up finding a couple of pieces. I don't pick up Nike hardly ever. It's just really oversaturated. I did pick up like a classic logo hoodie the other day where it's just the logo and a spell out of nike on the left chest those ones seem to do good the center swish nike right under the neck seems to do good and then there's some vintage stuff but for the most part i'm leaving behind a lot of nike at the thrift store whoever wears these weird jeans okay here's one pair of lululemon they are green and they are 14.99 so i'm gonna look these up to see what they're worth I was able to look inside on the size dot with the letters and numbers around it and figure out the style. So I went ahead and put that in the eBay search. I also made sure I put in green because sometimes the color can matter. So 72 results, I'm going to filter down to sold. Looks like only 17 sold and not very many. And the price is just not worth paying up $15 for these leggings. And here is another pair I found, some blue Wonder Unders. These are also priced at $15, so I'm gonna check those. So looking up Lululemon Navy Blue Wonder Under, I don't remember the exact style name here, but putting it in, and these were in a size eight, I think, which was my size. If they were a tall, I probably would have kept them, so 600 results. No exact matches, I think I went a little too specific on the title name, maybe with seven eighths or something. But as you can see, sold comps are not worth $15 again. Purple Athleta pants and some floral Lululemon crops. Comps weren't good on either. Okay, now I'm looking through the shorts. I've been picking up some American Eagle shorts. Um, I found some bike shorts recently that were a good brand. Someone just came, so I had to let them put the new um, shorts in. It was a Goodwill worker. Um, anyway, not a ton of value in most shorts, but I am trying to pick up some just because I need to have that kind of stuff in my closet if I want to be making more sales during this time. I can't just keep getting jeans and boots and pants and sweaters. All right, next I'm looking in the jeans section. So I do still pick up denim in the summer. I found recently some Driftwood jeans, although they weren't at the thrift store I did pay up, but Driftwood can be a really good denim brand to sell. I always pick up mother jeans unless they're severely flawed. Even the skinny ones do well. And I've also been picking up some Judy Blue, Democracy. I just sold another pair of Democracy jeans this morning for $35. So. Don't sleep on democracy. They do best in like a size 12 and up. And typically the normal blue jeans just do better than like any printed. And then you wanna look for Absolution or Ab Technology. I pass on Loft basically all of the time. Here's a pair of democracy jeans in a size 10, but they have some puckering in that spot, which is not good. So I go ahead and pass on those, plus a little bit of a smaller size than what I normally like to pick up for the brand. Did you guys hear the screaming child in that last clip? That's one thing that bothers me so much at the thrift stores when kids are literally screaming, crying, and parents don't do anything about it. Like, I get it if you just need to, like, 
ignore them for a second to do something, but there are kids that just cry the entire time and the parents like don't do anything. And I'm like, I am going to jump off a cliff. It's so annoying. I need to start bringing my headphones or earbuds or something, but earbuds hurt my ears. So anyway, that's just my little rant. Okay, now I am into tops. This is extra large, I think, and going up to plus size. I'll still look at long sleeves. I'll still look at sweaters, cardigans, all year round because you never know what you're going to find. A couple of months ago, I found a Jenny Kane sweater, which of course a couple of months ago was still sweater season, but I would definitely pick that up any time of the year. That's a huge bolo. It can be hard to see um, because of the tag. This is a We the Free, which I almost passed, and it's a size extra large. So. Um, check in the hall in the car in a little bit to see the surprise about that one. More tops. These are a little bit of smaller sizes. We are into the mediums, but I don't think I found anything else here either. Sometimes it can be like kind of depressing when you're finding nothing. Orvis, I know, can be a good outdoor brand, but I feel like once they started selling it at Costco or Sam's, the value went down on a lot of things. So I don't know. If you guys sell Orvis, let me know what still sells for you from that brand. I know my brother sells some of it for the men's stuff. This is filming with my phone now because my battery died, but I got a new iPhone, so hopefully the quality is still pretty good for you guys. Okay, a new rack came out. I got these men's cool shorts for my brother. I give stuff to him for his eBay and Poshmark of men's items every once in a while if it's something like extremely good. Sorry, but I'm gonna probably sell it. But most of the time I give him a lot of men's stuff. So that was all I found the entire day. The new rack, and there's probably about six to seven racks that came out while I was there. So sometimes it's not that great. Okay, going through some short sleeve sections as well. I tend not to do this as much in the fall winter, but for spring summer, I go through them more. I have found some pretty decent pieces. I actually found a Ghani or Ghani tank top, or not a tank top, a t-shirt. I'm not sure if I'm saying the brand right the other day that should sell around 40 or so dollars. So excited about that, but I don't think I find anything in this trip. A lot of Gildan, Old Navy, Forever 21, Shein, nothing that's worth money. Okay, let me show you what I got in there. Not a ton. Unlike last time, I wasn't hardly finding anything while I was filming, but I did get a couple more pieces that you guys didn't see. So let me show you. First up is this Eileen Fisher sweater. Um, here's the tag. It's really lightweight and it's green. So it could be good for like, you know, springtime. It is 100% merino wool, but I feel like since it's lightweight, it'll still be okay. It was red, which was the new color last week. It does have like a little tiny snag on the sleeve right here, but I think I can just like fix that. Otherwise it's in good condition. So I got that. It was just like so busy in there. I swear there were people everywhere. There were people cutting me off. This one lady like left her cart and then went back. Like how the racks are separated into like, you know, sections. She left her cart like sideways, which is basically blocking the aisle, went back four sections and then started working her way back towards her cart. And I'm like, no, you're not gonna block me from this whole aisle. So I just nicely moved it. Anyway, it was crazy. It was hard to film. Okay, next up is this Tadashi Shoji dress, which can be a bolo. This is a really expensive, not like crazy expensive, but like pretty expensive brand for like formal dresses. It's a size 12 and it's this really pretty kind of like pale pink, black lace. I think it's a maxi. So I'll have to do a style search on that when I get home. But that was really pretty. And then you saw these cool shorts. That's the only thing I found in the new rack today. There were multiple that came out. Um, I'm giving these to my brother to sell. Here's what the logo looks like for the men's. The women's has a little heart. That's a good outdoor brand to get in the lookout for. This I found right before my camera died. <laughs> um, it is a free people. I just noticed it was new with tags. 
free people new with tags. I was just getting it because I was like, oh, we the free extra large. That always sells fast for me. It was also half off. And I know I was literally at this store like the last three weeks. So did I miss it or what? <coughs> Let me get a drink. Because I feel like I would have grabbed that. So it was like $2.50. A new with tags, free people, kind of like multimedia top. And then I found this John Mark top. Um, a Instagram viewer told me about this recently and I sold it once really fast. I got another piece recently. It's already getting attention. This is a size zero X. Again, a multimedia type top. This has animal print. Um, and then the back has a button detail. So my last one I sold, I think around 35 to 40. So I don't remember how much that retails for. I think it's sold in Von Mar and I'm not going to get out that big coat to show you, but that was exciting too. So this is pretty normal for one store, like five, six items for myself. So I'm going to go to one more. I'll take you guys with me. I'm just going to use my phone, but thankfully I got the new iPhone 15 pro max. So I think the video quality should be pretty good. I guess I'll see when I transfer it to my computer, but let's go to the next store and see what we can find there. I did spot a whole bunch of new racks right away when I walked into the store, so I'm heading there first. Those green pair of pants right on the front were a pair of J. Crew linen wide leg high rise pants, and they were from 2023, so a really new pair. And I was like, oh, this is the perfect time to pick up linen. So I'm gonna go ahead and check compass on these, and I put it into eBay, and it was bad. So. <laughs> It really sucks because I feel like the value of J. Crew has gone down for so many pieces. I still like to pick up the sweater blazers and the coats, but that's about all that does good for me anymore. I just watched a guy pull a Patagonia jacket off the new rack right in front of me, so that sucked. Okay, after the new racks, I went over to the shoe section at this Goodwill. They were more stocked than the other one, which I was happy about, but I did hear somebody in the aisle like over or behind that was like, oh, these ones aren't worth very much. So like I knew it was another reseller. So I was like, well, let me see if I can find anything before them. And I don't think I found anything, possibly some Hey Dudes for Ryan. I did see some New Balance back there, but that style doesn't really do that great for me. I've done better with some of the like newer, more trendy styles. But you can always look up like the style name. Oh, here's the Reebok CrossFits I was talking about earlier, I think. Oh no, these are Jordans. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. These are $15. I have not had good luck with those, so I didn't even look them up. Maybe I would have if they seemed like ultra awesome. I don't know. Um, these are a pair of coach heels. These are extremely outdated and I have never been able to sell coach shoes very good. So I'm not even going to bother looking those up. Okay, going to the jeans section next. Typically, I do like to look at the jeans pretty early on, if possible. Otherwise, I like to do blazers just because I feel like that's some items in there that I could make more money on rather than just like tops, shorts, tank tops, things like that. So looking for any stylish brands. Right now for me, I'm selling really good of flare, high rise, boot cut, Western style jeans or Western brands, so miss me. Um, I know that's not typically Western, but a lot of cowgirls wear that. Aria is selling good for me right now. Rock Revivals are selling good, which some kind of girls in that cowgirl world, I guess, wear that. Um, these are a pair of Miss Means, but they were marked at $14.99. So I definitely left those behind. I would pick them up if they were around eight or less. Here's some Democracy jeans in a size 12, but again, some puckering. So not going to pick that up with that flaw maybe if it was a really good designer pair of jeans maybe but not with those Okay, um, pants and legging section. I don't even know what those were, but obviously not worth it. The store was so bad. 
Oh, I had got like depressed after I was shopping at this store. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw yesterday afternoon that I posted about like, sometimes it just sucks because I was hardly finding anything at the thrift store. I hadn't hardly made any sales for the day. And this was in the afternoon at some point. I don't pick up any Zaya by the way anymore, if you saw that, um, or Michael Kors. And I was just like, oh my gosh, it was getting so frustrating, but I always just try to keep going. I thought those were Lululemon, but they're not, whatever that brand is called with a little like heart. Um, but I just kept going because I'm like, you just never know. And I didn't have anything going on for a little bit. So I got through it, but it wasn't really worth it because I think I only picked up two things from this store. So yeah, kind of a struggle. I thought this could be good. New with tags, high rise mom shorts from Levi's in a size 18. Wrong, comps and sell through were horrible. Finally, something worth picking up, a J McLaughlin top. This is their Catalina cloth, which is what they're really known for. It's a nylon spandex blend. It feels like a really thick like scuba or swimsuit material. This is an anthropology brand, Eva Franco, Eva Franco. Um, it was an interesting piece, so I picked it up but the sell through rate was really bad on it and it didn't sell for very much. I was really like overthinking it there. I'm like, wait, is this a good brand or not? So it's expensive, but sell through rate was bad. So I did end up putting it back on the rack. Okay, that store was really bad. I found two things in like an hour and a half and I was like, ugh. It wasn't like as busy, but there was a few really aggressive people in there. So it was like, I mean, at one point, a new rack of clothes came out and this lady just like grabbed a chunk of clothes. Like she didn't even know what they were just so she could look at them. And I was like, okay, I don't really like that. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know. It was just annoying. I did find the free people blazer, which has pretty good comps and Jay McLaughlin sells really good for me in the summer. So that's okay. Sometimes that's just how it goes. You guys know if you go thrifting a lot, like I do, sometimes you just have a crappy trip. So there's not much else to my day as far as reselling wise, besides just the normal sending out offers and accepting offers. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Let me know how you guys like this video format. I'm trying some new things in order to grow my channel. And so I'll be curious to see kind of what you guys think about that. Again, please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.